Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flame has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrig Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The Knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. What? Flane is missing? So, finding Flane is our mission for the month, I take it? Wait! Who's Flane? Sedith's little sister. Surely you've seen her flitting about the monastery. She is the girl who looks about the same age as me, but seems well beyond her years. Sedith is much older than Flane. He's always looking out for her. He must be worried sick. If I were to go missing, I can't imagine what that would do to my brother. When searching for something, it's best to start by gathering information. Hopefully someone has seen Flame. Still no sign of Flane. What should we do, Teach? I'll admit, I'm out of schemes here. Professor! Claude! Something's very wrong! Please, hurry to Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Knock knock! Is anybody- Whoa! Professor Manuela! I heard a scream coming from here just moments ago. It must have been Professor Monuela. No, I believe she's just unconscious. It looks like she was attacked by someone. Hey, it kind of looks like Professor Monuela is pointing at something. So we follow where she's pointing and... Oh, what do we have here? There's a rather suspicious hole behind that shelf. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We must take her to the infirmary immediately. You, don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Right, right. Hold down the fort for me, Teach. I'll be back once we get Professor Manuela taken care of. What could have happened here? And where is Professor Yuritsa? This must be related to that girl's disappearance. What if she's being held captive down there? Well, no, no, that, I mean, that's crazy, right? Right. It's scary, but... Okay. 
Don't be a coward, Ignatz. We'll be fine, as long as we stick close to the professor. Oh, you're right. What should we do? We've got to investigate. Lead the way, Professor. The culprit could be hiding inside, so let's be extra cautious. Oh, it's way too creepy down here. And it smells funny. And... Ah, a person! <gasps> They're unconscious. Yes! It's Flane! Oh, but there's someone else, too. Someone is coming. That scythe. Could it be the night we fought at the Holy Mausoleum? That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Professor, we need to defeat the Death Knight and then rescue Flame. Hmm, look at that strange tile over there. I bet something will happen if you step on it. I wonder what that is. Looks like you can use it, but who knows what'll happen. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. I have no need of you. to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor, eh? Seems quite frightened of us, if you ask me. <laughs> He's gone. We should get these two out of here. Let's get out of this horrible place. Come on, we can carry them up. You actually found Flane? Nice work. It is a shame you could not be there, Claude. I would have liked for you to witness our mortal struggle against the Death Knight. Hey, at least we managed to rescue Flane and complete our mission. That's what counts, right? Right. Excellent work, everyone. Now then, let's get these limp ladies to the infirmary, shall we? No problem. I can carry them both at once. Be gentle with them, Raphael. Let us carry each one individually, and slowly. You know, Teach, seeing you smile sure makes me feel better. You look happy for a change. Hmm? Do you really not know? Well, truth is, I've never seen you smile before now. At times, it made me wonder whether you were even human. But I suppose that was just my imagination running wild. Anyhow, we've probably kept Sedith waiting about as long as he can stand. Let's hurry up and tell him the great news. Professor, 
please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, of course. I shall express my gratitude to the students as well. Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother! Wait! Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I'm so glad that Flame is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anvar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Sorry, but I've got my own mission. And it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers 
turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? <laughs>